pain ladder, or analgesic ladder, was originated by the World Health Organization to describe its guideline for the use of drugs in the management of pain. It was originally applied to the management of cancer pain, but is now widely used by medical professionals for the management of all types of pain. The general principle is to start with first step drugs, and then to climb the ladder if pain is still present. The medications range from household, over the counter drugs with minimal side effects at the lowest rung, to powerful opioids. The ladder, the WHO guidelines recommend prompt oral administration of drugs when pain occurs, starting, if the patient is not in severe pain, with non opioid drugs such as paracetamol, dipirone, non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs, or COX 2 inhibitors. Then, if complete pain relief is not achieved or disease progression necessitates more aggressive treatment, a mild opioid such as codeine phosphate, dextropropoxifen, dihydrocodeine or tramadol are added to the existing non-opioid regime. If this is or becomes insufficient, a mild opioid is replaced by a stronger opioid, such as morphine, diamorphine, fentanyl, buprenorphine, oxymorphone, oxycotan, hydromorphone while continuing the non-opioid therapy, escalating opioid dose until the patient is pain-free or at the maximum possible relief without intolerable side effects. If the initial presentation is severe pain, this stepping process should be skipped and a strong opioid should be started immediately in combination with a non-opioid analgesic. Bottom rung of ladder, non-opioid plus slash adjuvant, middle rung of ladder, Weak opioid plus slash non opioid plus slash adjuvant, highest rung of ladder, strong opioid plus slash non opioid plus slash adjuvant. The usefulness of the second step is being debated in the clinical and research communities. Some authors challenge the pharmacological validity of the step and, pointing to their higher toxicity and low efficacy, argue that a mild opioid, with the possible exception of tramadol due to its unique action, could be replaced by smaller doses of a strong opioid. Not all pain yields completely to classic analgesics, and drugs that are not traditionally considered analgesics, but which reduce pain in some cases, such as steroids or bisphosphonates, may be employed concurrently with analgesics at any stage. Tricyclic antidepressants, class I antiarrhythmics, or anticonvulsants are the drugs of choice for neuropathic pain. Up to 90% of cancer patients, immediately preceding death, use such adjuvants. Many adjuvants carry a significant risk of serious complications. See also, econalgesic, opioid comparison, an example of an econalgesic chart, pain management. References External links, Pain Ladder at the WHO